everyone welcome to week seven of our course this week we're actually doing it we are holding our sample circ uh, mass circles let me just remind you that this is not uh, a mass circle can be very short just a few minutes it can be longer it can be the first meeting of a multi-session math circle that you planned and organized or it can be a standalone sample math circle as for the number and ages of participants as long as you have more than just yourself and one more person it's a math circle once you hold your math circle you will have to document it which brings us to this week's assignment uh, documenting uh, whatever you did at the math circle now you already have a plan for it so wouldn't writing uh, documenting the circle afterwards be redundant let me ask Maria why document at all well there are several reasons there are some reasons that it's good for you it's good for the kids it's good for the society it's good for the society so um, uh, let me talk about why it's good for you, Let's because go. that's right for us. So, um, it really, you'd, you'd think you'll remember. It's so bright in your mind right now. You remember everything everyone said. It's, it's been an adventure. I guarantee it. Half a year will pass, you will not remember. And you will want to run this activity again. You'll scratch your head. What was they doing? Why? What happened next? So it will really save you prep time next time around if you just uh, jot down what happened. Some observations, it doesn't have to be detailed, whatever it is that helps you remember. But also it helps you to connect to colleagues. It's, uh, if you document in any way, photographs, notes, anything, you'll have something to share, kind of. I'll show you mine and you'll show me yours and <laughs> you, we can share this way and so it's your kind of like your business card to your colleagues that I've done this here is my thing uh, we can talk about our circles it really helps to deal with fears because as you go over what happened you reflect on, on your fears and maybe usually it you realize it's not been as bad as you were afraid <laughs> or you uh, develop ways of doing it better next time so it really helps to deal with worries uh, with fears hopes um, and it helps you grow because once you document in any form even if you take one photograph you look at it you will reflect and then you learn something and so that leads to growth and also it leads to some sense of accomplishment you look at it and you know you've done it you look at this photograph or this notes or uh, some uh, blog post you made anything and it's what you have done it's your Dean Gratz experience if you are a gamer <laughs> it, it is your accomplishment so lots and lots of benefits for circle leaders uh, what about the, the participants in your circles, is there any way they benefit from that documentation? Oh, we have to take care of them too? Okay. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. It's not just about us circle leaders. Okay. It, for the kids, now, it is a strength of grown-ups compared to the kids that you can uh, document things. Well, kids are not typically strong on documentation at all. If you try to ask kids how their day went, you know what I'm talking about? Oh, it went well. <laughs> so, but kids can really benefit from reflecting on other people's documenting what they've done. So if you capture what kids did and show that to the kids, if you capture main questions or ideas kids asked and let them look at it again, some keywords, anything whatsoever you can share back with them, it really benefits them. But there is a kind of a second-hand benefit, sec like second-hand smoke, but good. Uh, when you document, you reflect on it, the kids get what you figured out next time you meet them. So there is a sense of continuity where you said, oh, this kid asked something, now I can go research the question. 
and documenting really helps with that. Or, oh, I could make a bridge to this other idea from what the kid did, and then the kids really, really appreciate the sense of continuity. If you tell them, if you meet with the same group again, if you tell them, oh, remember little Johnny said last time, and then Sally replied, and I went and researched, and guess what, it's all interesting and wonderful, this makes a huge difference for kids. So they can reflect on the task, they can reflect on what you reflected on. And, you know, if you document in some ways that are shared with people a, a year later, two years later, kids really cherish these memories. Oh, when I was little and was doing these cute little things, uh, say the six-year-old about uh, herself at five. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, so kids really, kids really, um, appreciate uh, a lot of service you can provide them with documentation. All right, um, so we covered the circle leaders themselves and the kids. Who else would benefit from documentation or is this it? Well, uh, the parent participants or other adult participants get some of the same benefits as the kids, but of course they can reflect more uh, if they're grown-ups or older teens. So uh, you can send reflection letters afterwards, mm -hmm. you can send photographs, and you can solicit people's ideas. But I want to say, I want to talk a bit about the community at large, because we are building a commons, a, a, gr a group, uh, a network of mass circles. And uh, as a new uh, network, a new community, or relatively new, we still need to build up our library of resources, our ways of doing things, just that feeling that there are many people out there doing it. And what you document, anything you can share at all, it really helps other leaders especially new leaders, but also it helps, it, it does this outreach, it creates this uh, big feeling of everybody in different places, in different ways is doing it. We are all in it together in very diverse ways and we can build on those resources, we can borrow creatively, we can reach out if you are, uh, if you are putting your um, documentation on uh, Twitter or Facebook or blog or uh, anyway YouTube, uh, people will reach out to you in good ways, and um, it, it's it it helps the whole community grow. It creates a sense that it's something done by different people in different places, and you can uh, get that sense of outreach in any other way except for many different people sharing many different things. Yeah, I look at this part as uh, giving back to the community. I do a lot of creative borrowing um, from all the wonderful resources online and from books. And so I feel whenever I do something with what I borrowed, I it's like my obligation to the authors, to the original authors, to provide them with tested feedback. Um, but also if I do something original, something I can come up with, it's another obligation to now it's my turn to share with the community um so in this week's materials what you're gonna find are um, some ideas on how to document we will provide some examples um, based on our experience and we also gonna talk about who will be doing all this wonderful documenting and how it can be done in various styles of documenting so good luck with your sample math circles. We can't wait to, to read your math circle reviews that you're gonna uh, put together for us or um, look at pictures or videos. Don't forget to get a media release from your participants and we'll talk about it a little bit more in the course documents. And above all, have fun this week.